you have a great day if it's your birthday today. Have you opened all your presents already? And don't eat too much cake later. Now though, time for play days. Ring the bell. It's a play bus. But where does it go? Where does it stop? Watch from Silas and Lollipop. Hello, I'm Peggy and today we're picking strawberries and strawberries are scrummy but I must put them in my basket, not inside my tummy. Hmm. Poppy and Y are in the raspberry. We've been picking raspberries, haven't we, Why? Yes, that's right, Poppy. Mm. And we're not eating any. Well, mm. no, 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 no. Well, I just had a little taste. No, no, no. No, not oh, we didn't. No, no we didn't. Mm. We've got a special basket here that we put them in. We have. Mm. Mm. Hello, little raspberries. Hello. Mm. <gasps> oh, Poppy, what? look. What? Oh, there's a load more raspberries over there. Oh, why? Mm. You've got such good raspberry spotting eyes. Yes, mm. I'm a raspberry expert. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, look, we could put them in the basket, can't we? Well, it's nearly full. Mm. Hello, you mm. two. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, isn't Peggy. this a great pick-your-own farm? Mm. And they grow so many sorts of fruit. I've been really, really busy. Mm, so have we, Peggy. Yeah, and mm. we've not eaten a single one. No, not no, one. No, oh, no, good. No, well, no. look at what I've been picking. Look. Oh, Peggy. I've picked lovely red currants, plump gooseberries, delicious blueberries, juicy black currants, raspberries. Strawberries. Just look at all my fruit. Oh, yes, we are looking, Peggy. Mm. We're not eating. Mm. No, no, no. Anyway, I'd better get on, otherwise there won't be anything for us to eat on our picnic when Teresa and the children get here. Bye. Hello. We've come to the fruit farm to have a picnic with Peggy, Y and Poppy. Now they're going to collect all the fruit and we've got the rest of the picnic with us, haven't we? Now this is Ben and Alistair. Oh, it's a pretty big place, isn't it? Look at those fields of fruit and the huge greenhouses. I know a story about a king who built a greenhouse in the palace gardens. Would you like to hear it? All right, then we'll go and look for Peggy. King Greenfingers was reading his Gardener's Weekly. Greenhouse for sale, he read in the adverts. Dismantled and ready for delivery. I could use another greenhouse, he said. I've ordered so many seeds this year, I think I'll ring the number. You're always gardening, moaned Queen Climbing Rose. I hardly see you these days. Well, you're always knitting, answered the King. I hardly see you. It's a pity I can't sit and knit in the vegetable patch. It's a pity I can't garden in the parlour, finished the king, making his way to the telephone. And Princess Potted Palm was listening. She could see there might be an argument, so she went and whispered an idea in the king's ear. He nodded thoughtfully and dialed the number. The mayor was happy to sell his greenhouse because he hated gardening. He was even happier to have a chance to get into the palace ground, so he went along when the greenhouse was delivered. He felt so important as he ordered his driver to unload all the pieces of wood and sheets of glass near the vegetable patch. 
By this time, the king and Princess Potted Palm were outside, ready to start work. I'll tell you how to put it up, if you like, said the mayor to the king, hoping for an excuse to stay at the palace. Princess Potted Palm whispered again to the king, but Green Fingers kept quiet. He and Potted Palm were wearing their building dungarees. The mayor was wearing his mayor's robe and gold chain. He didn't offer to help, but stood giving orders. After all, mares do not put up greenhouses. It should be an oblong shape, he said, as the king and potted palm started sorting out the pieces. Greenfingers said nothing, but began to make the shape more round. It didn't look like that when it was in my garden, said the mare. It had four sides. Greenfingers said nothing, but built it with eight smaller sides. Princess potted palm fetched this, carried that, and gave the mare bits to hold and look after much to his disgust. The wood goes at the bottom and the glass goes at the top, commanded the mayor. Greenfingers said nothing, but built his eight sides with glass and built a round wooden roof at the top. It had a glass roof when it was in my garden, said the mayor. Greenfingers and Potted Palm worked hard all afternoon. The mayor was extremely puzzled. Before long the door was fixed on and the building was finished. She'll like it said the king. She'll love it, said the princess. It's a bit small, said the mayor, and you've all these wooden bits left. It wasn't small when it was in my garden. Queen Climbing Rose had been watching from the kitchen window. She was puzzled too. She came out just in time to hear Green Fingers say to the mayor, When it was in your garden, it was a greenhouse. Now it is in my garden, it is a summer house for Her Majesty to sit and knit in, and at the same time watch me plant the vegetables. What a lovely surprise, said the Queen. You are so thoughtful, Green Fingers. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Phew, I've got so many containers of fruit that it's going to take ages to weigh them all. Good job I've got an expert weigher. This is Paddy. Hello, Paddy. Hello, Peggy. <laughs> Hello there. I like your strawberry jumper. Yes, a friend knitted it for me. <laughs> Is it a busy job then, Paddy? Very busy job. First of all, you come up here mm -hmm. and you have a small container or a large container. Yes. Then you go down into the field and you pick all the fruit. Ah. Then you come back, mm -hmm. we weigh it on the scales, and then we put the money in the till. Wow. Oh, could you weigh all these for yes, me, please, Paddy? Yes, I certainly will. Thanks, Paddy. As I was going to the pick-your-own farm, singing, singing, buttercups and daisies. As I was going to the pick-your-own farm, fall de dee. As I was going to the pick-your-own farm, I took a little basket on my arm. Rifle, rifle, fall the diddle day. <laughs> we picked and picked and stayed all day. Singing, singing, buttercups and daisies. We picked and picked and stayed all day, fall de dee. We picked and picked and stayed all day. Then we took them into the shed to be weighed. Nice one, Paddy. <laughs> rifle, rifle, fold the diddle day. We invited Wybird round for tea. Singing, singing, buttercups and daisies. We invited Wybird round for tea. Fold it dee. We invited Wybird round for tea. To eat those strawberries with Poppy and me. Rifle, rifle, fold the diddle dee. How are you doing, Paddy? Fine, thank you. Just the strawberries to weigh oh, now. There you go. Just under two ounce. Oh, so that's about uh, 50 grams. That was so quick. Um, I'd better go and get you some money then. I think I've got some in my purse over here. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, we haven't found any of Peggy's clues yet. No. But what's in here? What do you think these plants are? Tomatoes. Tomatoes, yes, you're right. I don't think I've ever seen so many tomatoes in my life. Now, let's have a look at this wonderful tomato plant here. And if you look closely at the bottom, come down here, Ben, and have a look. Can you see Alice there? Yeah. It's a very, very young tomato there. It almost looks like a grape, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very, very green and very hard. And it gets a little bit bigger, and it's still very green. And then bigger still, and then it gets redder, and then finally it turns into a big red ripe tomato. 
Can you see how many tomatoes there are on this plant? There's loads of them. Certainly a lot of growing going on in here. was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Come on, let's go look for Peggy's clues. I've got to keep a sharp eye out. Can you see anything? Yeah. Oh, yes, well done. It's a lovely big strawberry. Thank you. Now let's see what it says. Plump and shiny, round and red. The next clue is straight ahead. So which way was the peg pointing? That way, down there, right. Mm -hmm. So we'll go down there, but it's plump and shiny, round and red. What do you think the next clue is? A tomato. A tomato. Well done, Alistair. Come on, then. Off we go. Plump and shiny, round and red. You going to hold this clue for me, Ben? Oh, Please, yeah. thank you. Now, look really carefully. There it is. Oh, well done. I found it. Big, it. bright red tomato. Did I find it? You both did. It's very well done. Now, it says, Please. listen to the clue. I'm long and thin and make no sound as I wiggle away deep under the ground. A worm. A worm wiggling under the ground. Well done. Now, the peg was pointing which way? That when we way. found it. Are you sure about that? I don't think so. It was up by there, wasn't it? And it was pointing this way. Come on. Let's go and look for a wiggly worm. Well, somewhere along here we should find a wiggly worm. Now, let's see. In the bushes somewhere. There. Oh yes! Hand it out. It went that way. Oh, the peg's pointing that way. Yeah. Now, what does the clue say? Wiggle round the corner, pass some straw, and then look to the right. You'll find Peggy in her den. I've got to wiggle round the corner. Can you wiggle? Yeah. Come on, it's wiggle. Are you wiggling? Come on, wiggle round the corner. That's it. Pass some straw. We've got to go past this straw here. Wiggling, wiggling. We turn to the right. And there she is, Peggy! Hello, Teresa! Hello! Hello, Alistair. Hello, Ben. You took a long time getting here. Oh, yes, we did, didn't we? Ooh. We found you at last. Ah. <laughs> is that the picnic in there? Oh, yes, we've got it here in the basket. Oh. That's a lovely hat, isn't it? Well, yes. It's one of my special summer hats. But I think if I do much more fruit picking, I'll wear it away. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure you won't. Dancy diddlety peggity pin. Had a new hat when summer came in. When summer went out, t'was all worn thin. Dancy diddlety peggity pin. Oh, Peggy, that's a lovely rhyme. Oh, do you want to hear it again? Oh, yes, please, but can I join in this time? Yes, it's a bit of a tongue twister. Oh, right. Ready? Mm, okay. Dancy diddlety peggity pin had a new hat when summer came in. When summer went out, was all worn thin. Yes, dancy diddlety peggity pin. Very good, Teresa. I just managed it, didn't I? Well, Peggy, what have we got here? Well, this is the Peggy Patch Pick Your Own Store. Oh. And this is the fruit that I picked, and Poppy and Wyatt are still picking theirs. Um, I just need to weigh it, that's all, and then we can have the picnic. Oh, yes, please, we're a bit hungry, aren't we? Mm. <laughs> well, could you give me a hand to put these on the scale? Yes, of course. Oh, I'll go look for Poppy and Why. See you later. Bye. 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 I was just checking how many we'd picked, wasn't I, wife? Oh, yes. So was I. Mm. Mm. You see, we've been far too busy to eat any, haven't mm. we, Poppy? Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 Do you know, I found some huge worms, did you? Mm. Well, what did you do with them? I sang a song to them. There's a worm at the bottom of my garden And his name is a wiggly wolf there's a worm at the bottom of my garden, and all that he can do is wiggle all night and wiggle all day. The people down here, they all do say, there's a worm at the bottom of my garden, and his name is a wiggly, wig, wig, wiggly, wig, wig, wiggly, woo. Oh, you two, that sounded absolutely great. Yes, oh. it is. Thank you, Peggy. <laughs> mm. Do you know, I always sing better on a full stomach. Yes, it was. Hmm? 
Oh, 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 and an empty one. Yes. Oh, mm. well, do you know the finger rhyme about the worm? Oh, yes, I do. Mm. Well, I'll say it. You can do it. All oh, right. And you can join in too. Right. Under a stone where the earth was firm, I found a little wriggly worm. Hello, I said. How are you today? But the wriggly worm just wriggled away. <laughs> oh, come on now, it's picnic time. Oh, oh. Um, well, I I'm not very hungry at the moment, actually, Peggy. But well, you said you had an empty tummy. Um, um, yeah, yeah, we'd like to pick some more raspberries. Yes, we would. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure there were more raspberries in there before. Were I know. Yes. You've been eating them, haven't you? Oh, oh, it perished. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you might, we might have had maybe one or um, well, two. Oh, I'll have to pay Paddy for them a bit later. Oh, well, I'd better get back or they'll start the picnic without me. Oh. Fancy a raspberry? <laughs> now, what do you two want to eat first? Um, a biscuit. A biscuit, yeah, they look delicious, yeah. don't they? Oh, hi, Peggy. Oh, oh, oh hello. hello, Poppy and why? Uh, well, um, uh, they aren't hungry at the moment, no. Mm. Oh, well, shall we save them some raspberries? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, let's eat. Oh, yes. yes. All right, and let's have a drink, too. Who wants a drink? Ooh, lovely orange juice. Yummy. There. There's some orange juice for you. Right. A lovely tomato. How about you, Teresa? Mmm. Oh. Oh, go on, have another biscuit. Delicious. Mm. I like strawberries. Is that nice, Ben? Strawberries and cream, Teresa. Delicious. That's right, scrape that plate clean. <laughs> I'd better go and take Poppy and Wise fruit to Paddy to be weighed. <laughs> if there's any left. See you later. Oh, there's the bus bell. And it's just in time because we've nearly finished our picnic. But before we go, I'm going to put something in Peggy's patch pocket to remind her of her day on the fruit farm. It's a marzipan strawberry. And I'm going to put it in the green pocket here. That's all for today. See you soon. Bye. 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 and had some fun, but now the busy day is done. Hey, which is your favourite fruit? I'm off home now. Bye-bye.